Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of The Mailbag. Today we're gonna talk about the Sony 200 to 600 and how it fits in the Urban Explore 30. Uh, as you can see, it obviously does fit, but I'm just gonna explain uh, with a little more detail about what you can expect. So if we take out the lens uh, and we take our trusty measuring tape and measure the actual length as the lens comes from Sony, it's about 34.5 centimeters. Now, if we put this to the side and measure the height of the Urban Explore 30 core unit, we are approximately 33 centimeters. So the core unit is actually smaller than this lens. But fortunately, the walls of the core unit are quite plush and they have a little give and flexibility. So as you can see, we can easily drop the lens in and the core unit walls will just uh, offer a little give and let the lens fit in there. So if you see that the core unit dimensions are a little smaller than the lens, just understand that the walls do have some give. Now, as you can see in here, I've got my body uh, placed up here, and then I've also got another body with a 12 to 24 Sony. I'll just take this out quickly. Uh, I've got the ZV-E1, which is a pretty small body, and uh, also the 12 to 24 is, is a smaller Sony lens. Unfortunately, I'm filming uh, with my Sony a7 and uh, 24 to 70. So if we had that set up in here, that's probably gonna take up around this much space. So just keep that space in mind and you can relate that to your own gear needs. One last thing to note is that if you keep the 200 to 600 on the right side of the bag, you can still maintain side access to your smaller camera setup. So I hope that answers a question a few of you have asked. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time on The Mailbag. Take care.